Reusing existing hatch properties. Let's go up into our hatch command and go to our match properties. In our match properties, I'm going to come along and say, let's first use source uh, hatch origin. So I'm going to come along, pick on this item, and over in my wall over here, my source, my uh, hatch origin is in the lower left hand corner. That's where I build my blocks, a full block going around. So I'm going to select the hatch object here. And now I come over here and pick my internal point. And I get voila. Okay. And so I hit enter or close the hatch editor creation button, either or. And I get a copy made. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here and copy this. Um, and I'm going to bring these down here. All right. Now, down here, I'm going to erase this one. Now, I'm going to come in here to my hatch. And this time, I'm going to set my origin to be center. So my current origin is center. And I'm going to go to my hatch properties. And I'm going to say, use the current origin. So now I'm going to come over and select the hatch pattern, Bing. Now I'm going to come over here and pick an internal point. And I'm going to hit enter. And you'll see now that in this particular case, it's centered. So I got a portion of a concrete block on the bottom. And no mason would do that. So I have two different options that I can use when I do uh, an existing hatch uh, when I'm reusing ex existing hatch properties, my match properties allows me to copy. This allows me to copy all the properties of a hatch without having to look them all up. And then I get two basic choices of how I want to handle my origin points.